person to living person. For the upteenth time, I have no money for your fun. Show some pity. At least lend us a cigarette. Ahem. I believe we got company. Ah. Um. Miss, could you perhaps spare a few dollars for the Joe Gould Fund? <sighs> I'm a long way from home. Dude, no kidding. Oh, someone hopped on Skype. Who are you? Hello. You're Joseph Mitchell, aren't you? I believe you have the better of me, miss. Blackwell. Rosangela Blackwell. Blackwell, huh? I might have known. You met my auntie. Your auntie, yes. I do see There's a There's a lot resemblance. of resemblance, actually. Didn't want her to leave well enough alone, but she was determined. Let's hope that you can do some good here. What are you doing here? We are echoes, leftovers, if you will. We were linked to the Countess when we were alive. When we died, part of ourselves got trapped here. So well, you're shit. not a ghost? Not fully. I'm not sure what I am. Kind of a little bit of living. everything. I remember dying, but I don't feel like Joseph Mitchell. All I know is that when I thought of death, eternity with Joe Gould was the last thing on my mind. <laughs> what is your connection to the Countess? I don't know. I never met the woman. Joe Gould was the one who knew her. He had a special bond with her, apparently. But somehow, he passed it on to me when he died. Next thing I knew, I was murdering people by writing about them. There was no choice. I had to stop writing. Alright. I studied some of your work in journalism school. Now that's just foolish. I was a relic even before I died. <laughs> the city I wrote about has long since evolved and changed to something completely different. But that's New York City, isn't it? Wouldn't be New York if it stayed the same here. I'm sorry you had to stop writing. So am I. But what else could I do? Let innocent people die? No, oh, I don't regret the choice I made. Not for one moment. Did you know Charles Meltzer? Yes, I did. He worked at the New Yorker back in the late 70s. Charles he would come into my older. office and ask about the old days. I was happy to tell him. I knew he would never cut it as a reporter. But he had a very keen, analytical mind. I almost forgot all about him. But it appeared a link formed between us, nonetheless. When I died, my connection to the Countess passed on to him. Charles Meltzer is using the Countess to kill people. By accident? No, on purpose. He sent her after me. Now, that's a shame. I'm aware Shit. that through my actions, I killed a few people. But I could forgive myself for it, since I was unaware of what I was doing. But many times I thought to myself, I have a weapon. It's untraceable. Nobody knows about it. I could use it, but Shit. I did not. I was tempted, but I did not. Not once. You have to stop Charles. Break this link. Destroy this place. No more innocents should have to die. Dude. Alright. Um... How do I break this link? I wish I knew. I'm afraid all this is a bit beyond me. You're just a simple, uh... Why did you write about Joe Gould? He's a fascinating man. Intolerable company, but fascinating. He exemplified everything about New York at the time. Its artistic expression, its frustration, its joy and heartbreak. There's a lot going on here. His history the idea of it energized the work of dozens of writers and intellectuals but the more Shit. i got to know him the less i wanted to be around him <laughs> that's kind of funny did you ever read joe gould's oral history that it never existed or if it did mr gould never shared it with anyone which amounts to the same thing <laughs> you know why i never wrote it down people would have died you didn't stop telling people you were writing it did you what can i say the truth they would have chucked me in a loony bin uh, right. Thanks for talking, Mr. Mitchell. I'll see what I can do. No. Oh. Thank you, Miss Blackwell. Let's uh, save. We're still tracking artists, as it were. Yeah, we'll overwrite that. Hello. Hello. My name is Joseph Ferdinand Gould. I am graduate Ooh. of Harvard Magna Cum Difficultate and chairman of the board of Wheel and Woe Incorporated. What? In exchange for a drink, I'll recite a poem, deliver a lecture, argue a point, or take off my shoes and imitate a seagull. Um, I prefer gin, but beer will do. Uh, I've okay. been hearing a lot about you lately. My reputation precedes me. A little bit. I saw your portrait in the Mineta. The Mineta, yes. I'm quite famous there, you know. I gathered. It's all thanks to Mitchell, of course. The Joe Gould Fund filled its coffers nicely when he wrote his article. All right, what are you see. doing here? I don't quite know myself. We've all got to be someplace. He has got As crazy I hair. It, I was mentally linked to my old friend, the Countess. 
I wish I'd known. It explains everything that my work was trying to prove. Wait, what? Your work. I have had many callings. I studied the seagulls of the world and learned their language. I spent months measuring the heads of 1,000 Chippewa Indians. What? But before I died, That's... I was putting to paper the most important literary work known to man. The oral history of our time. That's... It was a compilation of the conversations of the city. Overheard Weird. in bars, subway, street corners, and diners. Put together and studied properly, it would have revolutionized everything. Or nothing. How would it have revolutionized everything? We were all connected, every single one of us. But how? Think of the ramifications if we found out. It sounds like quite an undertaking. It was my life's work. Oh, shit. How did you know the Countess? We met in a diner like this one. We'd often spend a week or two walking along the docks to discuss seagulls. She had many interesting theories on seagull linguistics. Then, really? one day, she disappeared. But a link had already formed between us. It's um, everything my oral history was trying to prove. That we are all linked. That's weird. The Countess is killing people. Murder? No. No, I refuse to believe that. She couldn't hurt a fly. Why is she called the Countess? That's what she chooses to call herself. Far be it for me to tell her otherwise. The name doesn't seem strange to you? When you lived a life like mine, you take people at face value. Who cares about names? That's true. I once knew another fellow without a name. Wait. Called himself the Deacon. Holy shit. The Deacon? You knew the Deacon? Oh yes, he was this gloomy career drunk. One summer night while sitting in a doorway of I the Bowery, he caught the scent of sulfur. He looked up and saw the devil himself standing over him. Since that night, he believed he lost his soul. A little bit did. Not the most charitable drinking companion, if I may say so. No, no, he wouldn't be. You knew him? Sort of. Fancy that. We're all connected. What's your connection to Joseph Mitchell? Ah, uh, Mitchell, my benefactor. He made me quite famous, you know. But oh, my goodwill only extends so far. Why's that? A cigarette. He has them. He won't give me one. It's demeaning to have to beg for one mealy cigarette. You want a cigarette? Yes, I want a cigarette. It's a disgrace that I should have to beg for one. Um, alright, what about the oral history? I'd like to read the oral history. And I'd like you to, but I'm afraid it belongs to the ages now. Oh, shit. There was also the problem of it never existed in the first place. Of course it existed, only not on paper. It was over three million words, three times the size of the Holy Bible. Holy the crap. The transcended mere parchment and ink. What about those essays you published in the Dial? A passing fancy, nothing more. You wrote essays? For the now defunct Dial magazine. Well, I yeah. still have the originals. Do you want to see? Yes, please. I'd like to see that essay. Here you go. It appears to be an essay about insanity, but the handwriting is so awful I can barely make it out. Just as well. I don't have time to read all this stuff. I do! This handwriting makes my- I don't think it- Um, don't even- really? This handwriting makes my aunt- I don't think it's important. Seriously? Top of food. Despite my theory, if the paper stung the power, a sense of humor never go off their nuts. I almost have first-hand information about it. There have been times- when the hack mode was on me, he had every bit of self-control that I possessed to restrain from shouting aloud or getting my hands in wild gestures that would have brought a curious crowd around me and me in the... Uh, the boot. Huh. Here you go. Always glad to share. Mr. Right. Mitchell. Yes. How do I break this? I wish I'm afraid I'll... Why don't you give him a cigarette? When you give that man a cigarette or a drink, he likes to talk. And the only subject Joe Gould likes to talk about, at length, is Joe Gould. I think and the only person the... for him to talk to is me. So, oh God. I do not give him a cigarette. Would you give him a cigarette if I spoke to him for you? I might, I might. If you can get him away from me, I might. But we can't leave this diner, and the door to that kitchen is locked. Can't you just float through the wall? Believe me, I've tried that. It doesn't work. Not here. Oh shit. Would you give him a I'm not if you can but we can't you just float the leap. Thanks for talking. Thank you, Mr. 
Alright, let me check the door. Locked. Uh, talk to Gould again? Mr. Gould? You be Thank. I'm afraid I'm a little bit. Fair enough, fair enough. Um. You want a cigarette? Yes, I want a cigarette. I'll talk to you. George, George. Um. I have no. Okay. Um. Mr. Mitt. Yes. How do I. I wish my friend. Would you give him a. I mind. If you can. But we can't leave this dark. Can't you just believe me? Alright. Thanks for talking. Thank you, Miss Black. I'm stuck in here now. Can I. Can I leave? Madeline? Of course. Who are the ghosts inside? Their names are Joseph Mitchell and Joe Gould. Both of them were unwilling spirit guides for the Countess. The echoes of them remained here after they died. Can't you come inside with me? I'm afraid I cannot. My bond with the Countess is gone. I cannot enter. But I can? You are alive. You are much stronger than I am. But the dead don't have... Can you take me back? Most certainly. But you must finish what you came here to do first. Figures. This bond, part of the Countess is... Uh, Thanks, Madeline. I will be wait. Wait a second. Is it something to do with the essay? Part of the Countess is... Here. Uh... What's that? Mr. Ghoul. I'm a fairy. I'd like to see you. You go. Gotta be 